played. I I don't know, man. This, this is going to be a crazy set, I feel like. Both of these players are just so excellent. I'm really curious. We're seeing the Joker oh, out of the Joker. Void. Okay, is that new? <laughs> uh, that's a character he's played in okay. the past a lot. I felt like he was playing a lot of Pirate Mithra, but maybe just for bracket. Yeah, you, can, you can chalk it up to experimenting with things, comfort. Um, it's Monday. Maybe he likes Joker on Mondays. Who yeah, knows? I don't know. Jo <laughs> jo Mega Joker Mondays. Yeah. All right. Here it is, bro. We're going to see if Boyd is looking cool, Joker. We're yeah. going to see if he can do it. A little bit of a misstep earlier from oh. Caster trying to rush down into I just, Joker. I just Bad idea. Crazy. I just realized something crazy. So Pac-Man's up special, right? Yes. Joker's got his neutral special, right? The gun. Yes. This is not going to be fun for Caster, bro. If Floyd's able to just stomp his recovery, GG. <laughs> like. Yeah. Well, that's, it's up to Caster to avoid getting hit. That's the story yeah. of this game. Don't get hit. But right yeah. now, Caster started to get back into this a little bit. We've seen uh, our set come out. The down air oh. into the up air. Oh. Nice, Void. What a recognition of an opportunity there from Void. Catching Pastor, whiffing the grab, and just absolutely throttling him with that stock. Yeah, excellent work. Staying away from the bell yeah. and the fire hydrant. Void playing uh, very aggressively to start. Very good recognition of when to go Ooh. in, too. And just kind of sat there as Pastor tried to play around the bell. <laughs> oh, a little bit okay. of a, a little footstool bouncy. there. I didn't bouncy realize, house. I didn't realize <laughs> Pac-Man was a part-time bounce house. <laughs> nice grab. <laughs> Pac-Man's grab is like like just larger than a an SUV, man. Do you think Pac-Man like if you were like touch him, he'd feel like a bald person? I, I don't I, I don't know, Connie. <laughs> like do you think it'd be like petting one of those like hairless cats? It sure. Did you know they get sweaty? I did not know that. They do, <laughs> it's awesome. Like that said, Pastor being stuck on ledge just void. <laughs> A lot of that Smash 4 and Brawl expertise coming out there as he tries to keep Pastor on ledge, but Pastor is able to escape briefly. Oh, there are the no. guns, just like you mentioned, coming into play, Tony. Yeah, the gun, the guns is going to be such a good tool for Void. Like, he can stomp the recovery, he can add a lot of extra damage onto Pastor, and I don't know, I feel like Pastor just has to play this, like, really smart, has to use his projectiles pretty much to his advantage, oh. as we're seeing right there. But yeah, it's stuff. going to be tough. Joker, Joker has a lot of options against Pac-Man, so... Oh. We'll see how it goes, but that was a very nice aerial. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad Void looking. Oh, he just barely oh. manages to get back to stage. Arsene's out. Pac-Man's blessed with a killer good recovery. Arsene is out to play. Here it is. The Nair coming out from Pastor. Is Pastor going to be able to close in right here, take out the first stock against Void? He has to figure out a way to stop the bleeding right now, because Void is just very much Ooh. content to sit back. But that's going to do it, that big Nair. Yeah, I don't know, man. One thing to consider, too, is just that the Aha and the Aegon, like, such an effective tool against Pac-Man, because we saw him try to go for it there. Oh, my God, that was a nice combo. But, like, there, there's so much to consider because he can use that on the Fire Hydrant and, like, potentially hit past or maybe even get a KO, too. So yeah, I'm really curious to see how Void plays around a lot of these projectiles. He's starting to use Aha a little bit more now. He wasn't doing it at first. He's kind of letting Pastor, well, maybe, like, gather a little information to see yeah. what, what uh, fruit Pastor wants to get. Nice grab punish. The up air, but Pastor's able to escape with the hydrant. Okay. Dash attack. Trying to go for the back air, not getting anything off of it. Getting hit by the Aegon. Down throw. Arsene is out to play. Down air. Down smash. air. Oh. oh, back air. And that's oh. going to be it. I didn't think that was going to be it. No, I thought Pastor was going to survive <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Unlucky. Uh, that was a very solid gameplay by Void. He managed to change pace as soon as he started to recognize that there was something that Pastor was starting to do that he wanted to just kind of like punish for and kind of let. You, know, you, you basically give your opponent enough rope to hang themselves with. It's more ultimately that kind of style of play. He uh, he challenged you know Pastor very quickly at first, and then kind of see how Pastor wanted to counter punch, withstood that, and just yeah. you know, drove in a very solid pace the rest of the game. Yeah, one thing I like that you mentioned is that Void looks out to see what fruit's gonna come out against uh, Pastor. So yeah. we'll see how that comes into play again. Ooh, we're seeing Pastor bring on some aggression, which I like to see. Uh oh. Oh, but there's the, there's the trade that oh, favors Pac-Man. That grab. Oh, oh no. no, he forgets to pivot. Unlucky. The passer has to calm down so he can avoid some of those smaller mistakes because against a veteran like Void, you're just not going to get the second chance. Yeah, Pastor, Pastor, you can tell again, like, top player nerves. Like, who can blame him? Oh, okay. Yeah, look at the spacing and timing there, Void. It's very meticulous in capturing Pastor. Oh. It's those vulnerable opportunities. Oh, man. We're seeing the gun into the eight. Aha. 
<laughs> That's gonna do it. That's all you need. So much gun overkill there, destroying the hydrant. Oh yeah, guns blazing, dude. Nice Aegon. Okay. Void right now just putting a huge wall with Arsene. There's the back air gonna solidly close out the first stock. Yeah. There's also the first appearance of Town City in tonight's oh, broadcast. Yeah. I love this stage. Yeah, this stage is great. I love the song they chose too. Personally, I'm a fan of a house oh. preview, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> nice, very nice work from Void right here, just getting the combos. Faster breaking out of it with a fair, trying to get the dash attack, but not getting anything from it. Oh, wow, did you see that recognition by Void of yeah. the, the Uppy platform? <laughs> yeah, he wants to get on there too, bro. Everybody wants to bounce on Pac-Man's Uppy. Who doesn't, bro? It looks, I would do it. <laughs> oh, look, look oh. at that ledge trap by Pastor. <laughs> That was That's a, that, what we want to see. That was Galaxy Brain, man. Pastor able to bring this back. And this is actually a that, very doable set of scenario here for that, Pastor. Was that Galaxy Brain or Galaga Brain? That, <laughs> that was stupid. But I, I liked it. <laughs> see, oh, I'm there's the Galaga coming through. But oh, there it is. Boy Man's throwing oh, a hitbox no. to trade. Pastor wasn't prepared for it. That was a good there reaction by Void, but now Pastor, uh -oh. he's got the floor, and he's actually making Void pay for his landings. Good apple toss in the, in the uh, Hydrant bouncer right back into Void's Joker. It's up tilt up air, oh, Pastor now. Oh, oh, we look for a high back air, it's still way too late. If he was anticipating where Void okay. was, instead of where he was going to be, and Void closing that one out, trying to stuff out, snuff out Pastor's momentum. The down air forcing him off stage, though. Okay. Oh, the apple! Okay. What great recognition by Pastor about where Void was <laughs> spatially. It was oh, lob, up, lob up a prayer. We, we are in LA. It was Lob City at one point. That's true. Here we go. See the ship come back out. Lots oh. of combos here. I like what I see. Oh, nice. Oh, Pastor. Oh, the Pastor parry. the parry. Okay, okay. Oh. Pastor's feeling himself. Pastor, oh, are but you about to become a gamer, dude? Oh, he is. There it is, Pastor, putting on so much aggression, getting so much damage here against Void. He might be able to take game two if he uh -oh. continues oh playing Oh my as gosh, well. the Hydra interacted there and actually prevented Void from continuing that combo. Oh no, staying away. Trying to keep as much stage control as possible with the projectiles. He still oh, has the, the grapefruit. There it is, the grapefruit. Nice patience by Void to get back on stage. He's like, okay. I, I, I have a melon allergy. I don't want, I don't want to <laughs> deal with melon it. Melon allergy. <laughs> oh, the Hydra oh. has to do it. That's a quick exit nice. for Void in game two as Pastor takes it game three. Wow, and the crowd is cheering on Pastor. Taking a game away from that, Void is I mean, not that, easy. That's the kind of thing that Pac-Man can do. He can snowball and get away with it. And there was a lot of cases where Void had started to figure out his counterpunch. He was playing a little bit on the back foot, which is fine, especially if you're leading in a game and he realized Oh, I have, you know, Arsene, I have overwhelming power, and I can just, like, get, like, a one or two hit, a down or up smash kind of thing going on. And instead, um, a lot of what, a lot of Pac-Man's just goofy, <laughs> goofy array of tools, made it's like Void couldn't necessarily find uh, yeah. that kind of pinpoint uh, counterpunch. There, there, when fighting Pac-Man, uh, there's a lot of things you have to avoid, and you have to be really disciplined and kind of teach yourself. Like, a lot of people, have a really bad habit of trying to like F smash or to get aerials onto the fire hydrant. You have to be disciplined and just respect that it's there a lot of the time. And Void is going sheep, which is a trade of power for speed. Okay. We're gonna see if Void has any success. I mean obviously Void is insane on sheep. We're gonna see how he's able to do here. Nice dash attack. One of the things that Sheik's able to really capitalize on into most of the cast is off stage pressure with bouncing fish. Mm -hmm. To the, you know, needles bound, bouncing fish. But Pac-Man's one of those characters where it doesn't really matter. Right. So, Yeah, on top of that, she can go really deep off the stage as well. So, like, we can see a bit of, like, under the stage play even, which is going to be really effective because Pastor, the only the only real options he has is, like, the side B, either getting hit by himself against uh, Void or his recovery, obviously. But it's going to be tough. I'm excited to see how Void plays against this character. The main thing is that, oh, man, he has to avoid those kind of combo strings. The Pastor's taking it in stride. Yeah. You see, he's trying to like slow the game down more, and Void is just completely hectoring him. He's like, I'm going to keep harassing you until you give me your stock. Yeah, Void is giving no room to Pastor to breathe. Like, he's no just mercy, in there. no quarter. Oh, and nice. He manages to grab the Dalga with the landing nice. hitbox. There's a toss. Nice. Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, the needles. 
Midair needles into the bouncing fish. You love it. Yeah, just academic there from Void. <laughs> Awesome stuff. And now he can basically run away. And maybe this might be part of the strategy is that Void might think that Sheik's punish game just might offer a little bit more security than Joker. Ooh. Yeah, I, I really oh, like Oh, nice drag so down. Far. Okay. Lots of percentage here. Passer trying to push back on again. He's just it's trying to do cool. something where he thinks Void is and Void like so many expert players in a completely different part, different area code. I think one thing to consider too. Like oh my oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Passer <laughs> barely able to get out of that blender there with a trade. Instead of Void immediately pushing him back off stage. The Nairs putting him in a disadvantage. It's just tough, like, having the matchup experience against a character like Sheik, because not many people play oh, Sheik. Oh, and again, big recognition. Able to get an insane punish off the grab with. Yeah. Void right now is in the driver's seat. These fairs coming through drag downs. Wow. I mean, just I, I, just, I feel like Pastor might not know exactly what area code he's in at this point. No, he doesn't. Oh, he just he fucking he he, uh, he actually nailed his way through the <laughs> the bell. He just care. did nothing. Yeah, I guess, I guess he let the all of that do the damage for him, and he was just able to go in, keep capitalizing. 141% for Void right here. Coming back onto the stage, staying away from the bell. Uh-oh, Caster's got ah. it. He's going to get it. The F smash afterwards. Very nice. A very solid response from Pastor. Oh. Again, uh -oh, a lot this is whiff punishing from Void. Void just, I mean, racking off the percent oh. and then just keeping his opponent off the stage until it KOs. That's the name of the game for Void. And then when Pastor is getting back on the stage, he's just like reacting to what he thinks like Void's going to be doing, and Void just happens to like absolutely pull the rug out from under him. Oh. Okay. We're seeing Void try to go in here, staying away from the fire hydrant, trying to get some attacks on there. That's going to be another dare. Can Pastor adapt in time? That's the, that's the big question right now. Yeah. I mean, oh. it's definitely possible. You got some good. Oh no! In. Uh -oh. oh, the melon actually knocked him back so far, far away enough that Void wasn't able to continue the string. Here it is. He's got to stay away. Does a nice job staying away from the up smash. Excellent work. Void now just uh -oh. like an assassin, getting close to the kill. Oh, oh the oh, bomb no. drop! That was so unlucky. The side <laughs> special. That is not. That's if not something you want to put in your mouth, bro. Poor Pac-Man. If at first you don't succeed, uh, toss a really, really finicky projectile.